Heroes and heroines of all ages. When the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the 1UP block. My name is Dan the Man, your host, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Metroid. Here we are getting another little upgrade, which I... No, we're not. We've already gotten this upgrade. Oh, no, now I remember what we were doing. I'm an idiot. We need to go this way so that we... <laughs> Here we are getting another upgrade. Herp derp derp derp. No, we're not getting an upgrade. We're taking a little shortcut back to the way we need to go. Because we need to go this way in order to reach our destination. Oh, that didn't work out. That didn't work out. Uh, that worked out. Perfect. Alright. I believe I've said it before, but you require the freeze ray to get up here, so. Yeah, here's that difficult jump. We've definitely been here before, so. Nothing to talk about here. Just making our way along through this corridor. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. There's nothing to talk about because I've already done all this. Basically, all we're doing now is collecting the, uh, upgrades. Uh, that effectively are going to make us super OP, unfortunately. But, you know how that goes. It's not my fault. I didn't, I didn't write the script. Did you write the script? You might have wrote the script, and that's why we're OP. Uh, actually, we might want to go this way? Yeah, we need to go this way. We need to go this way. Did we go this way already, though? I don't think so. We may have. There's an upgrade here, apparently. Oh, this is... Yeah, we didn't need to go this way. Son of a bitch! No. You will not die. Uh, oh my gosh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. No! No! Goddamn frustrating enemy placement. That that Nintendo Entertainment System frustration, ladies and gentlemen. It's frickin' genuine. Oh lord, yeah, we need to go back down. We actually needed to take the route directly that was a double bounce this way so we need to go here and we need to spin to win the trend mirror make our way over here over yonder possibly collect some hearts some hearts some health upgrades maybe just a few not upgrades uh health packs to get health packs they're health balls i don't know what to call them people i'm so sorry <laughs> Okay, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna go with the flow here, and actually, there's another secret, because this game is full of secrets, as you could clearly tell. Whoa! Alright, going back down here. All this stuff is gonna be really aggravating to backtrack. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that helped. That helped, Samus. I don't know what you were just doing, but it, it helped. So, oh god. Actually, I think this is, yeah, this is one of those moments where falling into the lava was actually more helpful than staying on the bricks. Saved me some time and effort. Alright, but first off, we're gonna have to find that one hidden block that's always to the far right for some reason. And then fall down here, and falling down, oh shit. Oh no, we can make this jump. No, we can't, no, we can't, no, we can't, yes, we can. Did it! Cheated, but I did it. Alright, so going in here... We get some health, because screw it, we need it. Going over here, oh, nope, fell in the lava. Going over here, you'll find a missile upgrade. And fortunately for us, there is also, pick up the missile. Oh, fell directly into the lava. There's another missile upgrade directly to the right of it. Now, we can leave because there's nothing over there. It's just a big waste of space. It's one of those things that tries to lure you into thinking there's a secret or something more, but there really isn't. So, uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna hop our way out of here. Later, hater. Um, I would say we need to go. Well, I'll tell you when we get there in a second. First, I gotta get my way through this little. Son of a bitch, I knew I was gonna hit you. Uh, we need to get up here, get back to... Alright, I gotta time this. I hate timing these. 
so poop at it. I'm so poop at timing! Alright, we're gonna go this way. And, uh, actually... Okay, do not get stuck in the lava. And do not get hit by that guy. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, you're not gonna wanna fall down in that lava at all, because as you can see, you cannot get out of that, and you're screwed if you fall down there. Uh, there's actually a secret here, and I, I, I guess I'll show it off, man. Yeah, you fall through here, then you can fall through this lava. Here's a doorway. You go through it. Oh, lordy, lordy. Check it out, everybody. It's a freaking upgrade station. I guess... Whoops. How do I... Oh, I, I changed it to R1 <laughs> during the last recording. Eh! Alright, so... What I think I'm going to do here is... Give me a second. I know this is going to throw you off and stuff, but, uh... I'm gonna I'm gonna save state so I can show you what this does. Basically, actually I don't need, I didn't even need to save state. I'll just keep this. I'll, I'll keep it until we can go get the second uh, upgrade, just so I can show it off some. Uh, this is the OP beam, basically. This plus the uh the screw attack and the high jump quite literally makes Samus the most OP character ever. It kills, it even kills the, uh, the horses. The only thing the wave beam does not do in this game specifically is freeze shit. Uh, like in Metro, Super Metroid. Uh, the wave beam and the ice beam are separate in this game, which contributes to why, uh, having the wave beam after the first two bosses is pointless because, quite frankly, you don't need the wave beam because you can't win with the wave beam. It's impossible. It is quite literally impossible, and if you don't believe me, and you want to ruin the surprise that's going to come at the end of the game, then go Google it, and you'll figure out why. But for those of you who are loyal and want me to keep it a secret until the ending so you can be like, Oh, wow, that's why. That sucks. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it. But until then, I really want to get up here. You're a douche. Yeah, the wave beam is really finicky too. I don't like it all too much. A lot of people say they really like that, like it in this game. I don't at all. But uh, yeah, so we found that pack, that upgrade, and now basically what we can do is start back over again because uh, that's the last upgrade down that uh awkward path that we don't have to get anymore. So. Now we're going to go grab the rest of the upgrades, which includes my ice beam. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll get the ice beam on the way back, I guess. Because I kind of want to use this against Ridley. Even though we don't need to, might as well show it off against one of the bosses, right? It's pretty OP. Especially since it arcs, it allows you to hit stuff. It's I, I call it this, this is the official lag beam, by the way. Because uh, almost anywhere... Where there's at least one enemy on screen. Scream. On screen. If you spam this and run at the same time, something's bound to lag. See? It's just ridiculous. It's the it's the lag beam. But uh yeah. Now basically all you're gonna wanna do here is go to the right, take our little secret area, bomb it a couple times. Oh, you know what? Son of a biscuit. Oh god, I forgot to get an upgrade. Why me? Alright, so actually, if I go to load state. Haha! -ha! Alright, so we're back here. Oh, I didn't get the. God damn it. Alright, so this essentially means we're gonna have to do a little backtracking, so, uh. I'll meet you back. After we get, after I pick up the stuff we already had. Actually, uh, 
since we got the wave beam, this is where the wave beam was, so you know where we were. Uh, for the walkthrough's sake, I'm just gonna continue from right here, because actually, what we need to do is backtrack just to- look at all this lag. And it's not my computer, that is like the hardware not being able to take all these pixels. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, need, we just need to backtrack a little bit to get where we need to be. Did I kill him or did he hurt me? Whatever. Alright, we need to... Oh, sorry. I was looking down at my phone. We need to go back up here. Break... Oh, the brick's over here, isn't it? No, it's not. I lied. Where's the brick at? Is the brick here? Or am I in the wrong spot? Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Okay, so yeah, we need to keep going this way. Ow, son of a bitch. Right, so this is the good place to... Oh, God damn it! I missed the missiles! You know what? Screw it. You saw the missile. You saw me get the missiles, so I'm just gonna let you think we still have them. Because fuck it. That, that is a long way to backtrack. That is the only complaint I have with this game, is the backtracking. The backtracking is really bad, but it, this is my fault. I had to load a state, so I won't, I won't chalk that up to the game's fault. It's my fault. Uh, this one's over here. Uh, but yeah. So now what we're gonna do... Ow. Let's climb back up here. I think we go this way. Yeah, we go this way. We keep following this path. Screw you. I also... This is the reason why I don't like Norfair, too. Is because, like, all the paths are, like, off. If you know what I mean. Like, they're not all connected to where you can get from one place to another for the most part. Most of the paths where they have, like, extras, extra collectibles and stuff, are, like, you have to literally backtrack to get out, to get back from them. So that's why, when I, when I play this game by myself, and I'm just playing around to fuck around, I don't ever go for any of the power-ups, because most of the times are just not worth it. Especially considering the fact that I told you before that you can beat the game with the minimum of, uh, five missiles, so. Whatever. We're just gonna carry on. We're just gonna keep on keeping on. Oh lord, this is such a long walk. Alright, so here's another uh, little area. You blow that up, and here's another secret. Go figure. You're gonna go down here, bomb the crap out of all of this. Uh. Oh, and there's no. There's no bonus for collecting everything, by the way. Uh, the bonuses come in the form of endings, based on how fast you beat the game, so uh, that missile that I missed, not you, because if you were watching, you should have got the... you should have got the upgrade. We need to put a bomb here. It's under the door. Uh, fall through here. Gotta find where the bomb spot is. I think we gotta find two. Maybe we just gotta roll through. Maybe. Yeah, we just roll through. Never mind. Just go to the right and fall through. Come down here. Unfortunately, this is actually going to be a helpful upgrade, so I kind of need this. Uh, yeah, you can't get through there. I don't know why I did that. Uh, come down here and just tap the crap out of jump. Uh, you won't take too much damage anyway, especially if you've been following the, the Let's Play and you have the Varius suit. But if you don't, just keep tapping the X button and you'll make it to this energy tank, which is ever so helpful and gives us a butt ton of health. So now we're really practically invincible. Now we're just gonna... Now we're just gonna jump back to the beginning because we just really don't need to be there anymore. And unfortunately, that sets our health back. But at the same time, even that doesn't matter because uh, there's another he heart... Eh, heart. There's another health tank uh, in the, like, right at the beginning of the second hideout, where Ridley is, so, basically, if you're gonna do the trick where you start at the beginning of the level, make sure there's an energy tank, or else you're gonna have to farm a hell of a lot of health, and that's just not fun to do at all. Alright, so, I'm gonna blow him up, get some health, I guess, I think I just got health, I'm not sure what that was. Uh, you're gonna wanna go... Starting from the beginning of Norfair, you're gonna want to go to the right, make it to the big uh, the pit or the big tunnel that goes direct, goes straight down. Uh, and what you're gonna do is just keep going south. You're gonna come to this first uh, secret area, and you're gonna fall straight down again. Just keep going down. 
And I think this is the, the only one where you do this. You just keep going down. Yeah, there's no other way to get down from here. Uh, go into this room. Taking this room will take you to this place. And for some reason, I always know I'm on the way to the second hideout when I see this room. I don't know if it's the layout or the enemies or whatever. It's just like, when I'm like, where am I at again? And, I, and when I see this layout, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm on my way to Ridley. I don't know. I'm a weird person. Don't judge me. Oh god. No, not getting caught in a volley. Alright, so now we're just gonna. Ooh, 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 want, want, want. Okay. Alright, making progress. Here, you're just gonna wanna drop down, go through this tunnel, and just like that, double heads. I don't know why Ridley's door is double dragon, but. You know, whatever. That's not even what Ridley looks like. Okay, so here we have the hideout number two. Now this place, oh boy, this place is a little, uh, icky as far as certain places go. Uh, first of all, you're going to want to go to the left when you first get to the hideout. And right here, you want to gonna aim up. You're, you want to gonna aim up and shoot to find this little secret area here. Then jump up, go through here. Unfortunately, there is a little level here, so you're gonna have to do some, uh... You're actually gonna have to do something. Be careful if you don't have any health like I don't. Which, I, if I die here, I'm gonna be so upset. This is where having the ice beam would have been nice, because I could freeze my enemies. But, uh... You know, whatever. Sorry, I'm try I'm concentrating so I don't die here. Which I just did. God damn it. See? This is the kind of shit that frustrates me. Especially since I picked up the goddamn... Oh, man. This is gonna be annoying, isn't it? I really hope I don't have to cut all this out. <laughs> oh, man. Go. Wait for the door to come back. Jump back on. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, I gotta be really careful. Because this is unfortunately a really, really lengthy hallway. And I'm just gonna lag you guys to death. If that's okay with you. Oh my god, I'm missing most of the shots. I'm just gonna come down. Jump. Spin jump OP. Fudge. I got hit. Alright, uh, basically, if, if you can jump and kill those guys, I recommend you do it. Don't let them, uh, gang rape you like they did me that one, just a second ago when they killed me. Always, when you get this little area to jump, it's, the game's basically telling you, hey, here, jump. Okay, but here's the missiles. And now we can go, uh, back to the beginning with the password, because you really don't need to see me do all that crap over again. You just don't. It's not, it's not fun. It's not fun to watch me backtrack. It's not. Alright, so we're just going to keep going to the left. Because there's nothing to the right. Literally, there's nothing. Uh, the right is just a shaft that helps you get, uh, from Ridley back to the, uh, the teleporter. So, it's literally used for nothing else other than that. There's no, there's no power-ups. There, there might be one or two power-ups, but they're like, on the way. So we can get them after fighting Ridley. And this guy's gonna be a douchebag. No! Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. I. Uh, okay, this is where this starts to get a little uh, aggravating. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so we're back here again. Hopefully these balls don't do a lot of damage to me. I get my health back, okay. So there's these douchebags, which I'm just gonna spin to kill. Spin to win to kill. Get some health back, that's good. Alright, drop the bomb. Here's a little secret. It's not really a secret because you kinda have to do this to get through. Uh, basically, you just drop the bomb on that one space and then just keep going to the left here. Drop a bomb right here. It'll open this area up. Aim up and shoot to kill that guy or do a screw attack because he can get into this doorway and he can kill you through the transition. I've had that happen to me and it's so crappy. But basically, you see this E-Tank? Well, this E-Tank is actually booby-trapped. Uh, if you look at the 
you want, you're gonna want to look at the square directly in front of it, because the square directly in front of it, two squares past that square is is a hole. So what you're gonna want to do is put a bomb right here and then move slightly to the left and let the bomb throw you over, or else you're going to freaking fall down. Uh, basically now we can just fall down, but that first drop you do not want to just fall. Okay, and uh, right here, well we got more health now so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick, just so we can get it out of the way even though we're at the time limit. Uh, I'm just gonna keep jumping actually, that's probably a effective way to do this. Uh, Alright, so, usually I can make this on my first try, but just to make sure... Okay, so it's F5 and F7. So I just gotta press S7 when I want to load state. Alright, so basically, you're gonna want to jump at the very last second or else you're gonna miss this shot, okay? So let's see if I can get it on my first try. Nope, that's a big negatory. Uh, buh, 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 buh. All right, let's see if we can do it this time. Huh? All right, got it. See, you gotta be like up directly on the pixel to jump and make that, because if you're not, you're just gonna fall through and shit's not gonna go good for you. Uh, there's a hole right there if you can see that monster climbing up through it, so watch out for that when you're trying to get this or you're gonna get stuck. Uh, grab your missile upgrade, and then now we're heading off to fight Ridley. That's it. Uh, b -b -b I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So what we're going to want to do here now is we're going to go here, fall down, hit this. Uh, and basically I'm going to stop right here because uh, after we go through this little tunnel, that's the fight with Ridley. But uh, a hero's work is never done. Join me again next time as we continue to tackle Metroid. Later days, guys.